Well, hello everybody. Just showing you that I'm all covered with crap and quite irritated because I gotta leave work. Guess why? Because the son, my younger, uh, the school my youngest attends, Molly at Middle School in Freiburg, which is about 15 or 20 minutes away. Evidently, state law says that grown adults don't have the ability or the right to uh, care for our kids. The school nurse is split between four schools, so you got a one in four chance that she'll be there if there's a medical need. And the rest of the adults can't do anything medically. Now, some of you might remember a couple weeks ago, my youngest son, Isaac, fractured his wrist. So he has kind of like a temporary cast piece of plaster thing splint with an ace bandage, which obviously will loosen up. He's 12 years old and you got a heavy thing on an elastic, basically. It's gonna stretch, loosen up, need to be adjusted once a day or twice a day. I gotta leave work to go wrap his arm up because the, which is okay, uh, that's what I gotta do. <coughs> My responsibility. <coughs> But it shows clearly that if you're in the SA, uh, SAD 72, your kids aren't being cared for. Now, one in four chance that the nurse is there. She's split between four schools. At a middle school, that's when all of our little girls start, pretty much, menstruating. Might need a nurse, unexpectedly. Uh, boys, teenage boys, you know, they start fighting and well, people get sick and nobody can give any medical attention to your kids. In fact, unless you know ahead of time and send them with a bottle of ibuprofen or other over-the-counter things and a note that says the school can administer it, they don't tell you that. It's not like most schools where you sign a thing that gives them permission and they have those things on hand. It's ridiculous. And, and I don't care, in the conversation with the principal just a moment ago, when I question this ignorance, because it is just pure ignorance that grown adults can't care for our children if they're in their company. That is just ridiculous. We, can, we can't go on as a society with these type of rules and... I'm going to refrain because I, I, I'm real irritated with this whole thing. You know, let's let's think about also single dad trying to work, and now I gotta leave. I'm gonna be gone, sacrifice my lunch break, or take extra time out of my pay because grown adults who are in charge of caring for our children can't wrap an ace bandage. Yeah, yeah. Whether they're incompetent or the law says, I don't have the documentation to prove that, so we'll just pose the question: Which is it? Uh, so anyway. But uh, the, the principal wanted to refer me to the school nurse by phone message. She would have the nurse call me when it's convenient to reiterate what the state law says. You know what? I don't give a shit what the state law says. I wasn't there when it was signed. I didn't agree to it, whatever it is. If it says that you can't care for my child while you're responsible for my child, I, I didn't agree to that. And now it affects my life. It's a hindrance on my life. You can't pass laws like that. I don't care who you are, what you think, or what kind of pen you use, and what type of paper you write it on. You can't do that. It violates me and, and my son. As far as I'm concerned, you're not a responsible adult. You're not in a responsible school. If in an emergency situation, you can't care for our children. That's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. So anyway, I'm going to go to Freiburg. Uh, the links will be below to, or the phone number. I'll put something below for you to look at related to the school. I don't know what yet because I'm too irritated. And I'll try to click this thing back on when we get there so you can hear it clearly from the principal herself and you don't have to take my word for it. But uh, if you do a little research, you'll find out that I don't lie to you. Anyway, much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.
Well, back with you everybody. Here's a shot of Molly Ock at middle school. I don't know if there are going to be kids present, so I don't want to violate their privacy. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get video inside, but anyway, we're here going to address this issue. Uh, much love. Be back with you. Responsible adults here at the school uh, aren't allowed by state law to attend to the children's needs, and they have a, yes I am, a one in, tw a one in four chance during an emergency that a nurse is present at the school. Is that's fact? Are nurses here right now? Yes, your nurse is here right now. I asked yeah. a clear question. What, what if a child was hurt at this school, yeah. they have a one in four chance of being uh, being able to be seen by a nurse. And the other adults are not allowed by state law to care for their needs. Is that a true statement? They, we have lots of people here who are medically trained. By our then, then how come somebody can't wrap an ace bandage properly and I have to leave work to do that? Well, because... Um, and you didn't answer the question about the one in four chance of a nurse being here. Could, may I ask a couple questions? No, you may answer mine and then you'd be well, glad. I'll uh, surely I answer, yours. answer yours. I want to answer yours, but then, it would help me if I could ask a couple so that I know how to answer your question. No, it's an easy, it's an easy question. There is a one in four. You are split between four schools, correct? Mr. Um, Allen. So that's a one in four I'm, chance that a child would be able to receive attention from you. At any given moment. So, Mrs. Boucher, I'm going to stop the conversation. If you want to come in. I'm going to stop the conversation. I won't answer the question. No, I'm going to ask you to come in and sit down and talk with sure. us because we have other people coming in and out. Sure, I'd like to attend to my son first. Sure, yeah, go ahead. Do you want to use the. Uh, come on, Isaac. Hang on just a sec. We'll be just a minute because we've got another um, student in here. But if you want to sit down in here Great. and Thank wait, you. you're welcome to do that. <laughs> Is there a reason you're taping things? Yes, because I've had enough of a lot of things in okay. society in general. Oh, I'm and sorry. when I have to leave work because people can't wrap an ace bandage to protect a fractured wrist, there is a there is a clear issue. Mm. And when I deal with administrators that can't give clear answers, I get very frustrated. Mm. When, when I come into a school district and without any announcement, mm -hmm. I, I learned that you can't give simple over-the-counter medications to children here. We have girls that are starting their menstrual periods. We have boys that are becoming teenagers, could be prone to fighting. And the parents have to know that they have to sign a permission slip. That seems like foolishness to me. Second of all, uh, right off the get-go, we know over a week ago that administrators in this in the school district mm -hmm. use lies to control behavior and mm -hmm. I spoke to you about that already on the phone yes, yes I did, did. so I have deep attention. concerns and I've already notified yeah. uh, the school district that when I have okay. communications with the school from now on they will be recorded everybody's mm -hmm. going to be held accountable as he mm -hmm. will be for his behavior Good. earlier I'm this is not a diffusement from Isaac's behavior yeah. we talked about it and we'll talk about it more okay but his behavior mm -hmm. doesn't negate the fact that his medical needs aren't being cared for. And deeper than that, the fact mm -hmm. that most children here are at risk. If there's an emergency and they're cut, okay, you can't attend to it. That's basically what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. And there's no medications here That's for those children. That's not what I told you. Well, if you can't wrap an ace bandage, ma'am, most people are going to have to assume that you can't bandage up a deep wound either. Well, in looking at his ace bandage, it doesn't... May I ask a couple it questions? It clearly is loose, and, th and that is uh, a heavy splint. May I so ask? it clearly did need attention. And if he asks you to rewrap it, he, he's a pretty smart kid. He knows that he's trying mm -hmm. to take care of his mm -hmm. own needs the best he can. Right, okay. right. Yeah. Can I ask a couple questions? Sure. Um, Isaac had shared with me that he had broken his wrist with just friendly wrestling. Yes. And he said he uh, went to the ER in Bridgeton. Yes. For what is on there currently. Uh, that's what was placed there. Yes. Right. That he must have had an X-ray done that actually showed he was trying to describe to me. There is a mild fracture on the wrist. On the, mm -hmm. And they applied what is on there now, the splint with the ace. Right. Right. And what when you left the ER, what were the, what were they telling you to do after that? They would have left. Such the, as. Oh, follow the instructions? Up appointment. Yeah, follow up appointment. And their appointments so are booked so happen? deep that I might not be. Ma'am, if you're questioning my ability as a father or my priorities mm -hmm. and when my ch children's medical needs, need you're to, a fool. I want to be able okay? to answer your question, your original question. I can't do that unless I get this information. I'm not legally able to take off 
what the ER put on for a fracture without the We have common sense, ma'am, and if we have a child with a fracture and there is an ACE bandage keeping the fracture secure and it is loose, was then we must to, understand that it is was, not being protected. Was That's, this being, was this supposed to be re-x-rayed and casted perhaps? No, as a precaution he was just supposed to be seen by an orthopedic surgeon who could judge probably from his range right. of motion and right. other from, factors. From my professional, again, you're you're talking to me and you're right. making judgments about me. My practice and how it works is that the follow-up on that arm needed to be done by a medical professional. Then why, when I called them, did me. they say that uh, it was fine to wait two or three weeks for an appointment? And I've made other accommodations to speed up that and, appointment. And Again, you say that I'm questioning to, you. Now, to, I'm not. Now, I'm, take I'm questioning the school district. If I were to unwrap that, cause more damage to what was may not actually be stable yet, that opens my my RN for liability. You have to understand that, right? Oh, so, so I'm not we, an MD. I'm an RN. And unless I had directions from your physician that said, Mrs. Boucher, I want you to do this to his arm, then I would have followed that. And that may be fact. I can't make I still the orders think it's for ridiculous. And, well, and you so can think that, but it's not the way okay, it works. Okay, well, we'll see what the general public thinks about that. That's the purpose of the recording, not to attack you, ma'am, but protect okay. not only my son, but the other people in this community yes. who I am sure yes. are okay. not aware. And you like to interrupt people when they're talking, don't you? Don't you? Because you just you, did it to me several times. I have to say, though, I like to have conversations, and that's how I gain more information to be able to help. People. Right, and I think everybody that watches this video tonight on YouTube and for the coming right. weeks will see that you don't answer questions directly and that you interrupt people when they're talking to you. I think those two statements are going to be very clear. I won't have to tell them that you did it. You did it yourself. Isaac, first here. And furthermore, I'm going to make a clear statement. He is responsible enough and knows what the medication is. I forgot to send it with him, but I'm not signing any note. If you can't care for him anyway, you don't deserve a note from me. He will have medications with him as he needs them. He knows when and how to take them, and I do not expect that those be removed from him. I don't care what your written law is, what somebody put on paper, if it negates my right to take care of the health of my child, and if it negates his right to take care of his health, then it's not a law that applies to me. And if you take it, I'll see it as a theft of his personal property. Just so you understand where we stand. This is ignorant. This I'm, is. I'm sorry you feel. Ma'am, if your son or daughter was please put. Please don't in interrupt me. I'm trying to speak, and now you're interrupting me. I apologize. Me. So I'm. I'm going to stop the conversation. I'm going to let you tend to your son, and um, if we have other questions for you, we'll we'll get a hold of you. But I think this conversation is done. Anybody that has concern whether I'm qualified to do this or not, I was certified by the Army for uh, emergency medical and other things. And I think this is pretty much common sense. Anybody that has interacted with children should know how to wrap an ACE bandage and should be able to assume that this is a splint that rem it can be removed and put back on. It's not a cast, it's a splint. Clearly, re splints need to be reset on a regular basis. If we can't just assume this as responsible adults... Okay, why don't we let them have some privacy? So right, so that we don't get caught in any more of our foolishness. Exactly. Probably a good idea. Couple new bandages on the way home because these are getting kind of dingy. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good catch. Too tight or good? Good. Good? Okay. On to the thumb. Open the fingers. Not causing any pain? No. Just, no. What's going on with the pain that's in there? Mild ache or really hurt bad? It hurts. Okay. What were you doing with your arm today? Why don't you have your sling on? Uh, slings at the house. I know, you don't like the sling. Yeah. Alright, well, I'd like you to bring it because when your arm gets tired, it needs to be in the sling. And you know this, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. It just doesn't look cool, right? Mm-hmm. Well, cool doesn't matter right now. Okay, folks, I guess we've set our piece uh, arm wrapped up, and uh, if you live in this district, you'll have to leave work, too, should your children get a sprain or have other needs. Uh, much love, many thanks, and always expect me.